So we want to create um, <clears throat> create one star builder for player. Um, and now you have to find player. I don't know why it's grayed out, but triggering player at a uh, point. And this is where our little variable came in handy. Because if we didn't make our builder spawn points array here of two, size 2, and if we didn't set it in init, we wouldn't know which one of these to do right now because what if player two clicked this? We wouldn't, we wouldn't know that. But what we can do here is just go to builder spawn points, and then instead of zero, we can just put um, player triggering player. So now, if it's player one clicking, it'll automatically go to player one's builder spawn point, which we set right here. So um, actually, it won't do it because um, these need to be set to. Or sorry. This needs to be set to math minus one since we're using um, sorry since we're using uh, zero and one here. Sorry if that doesn't make sense, but since we set zero to be player one build spawn and set one to be player two build spawn, when player one clicks this, it's going to go to player one minus one player zero. So it's going to go to builder spawn point zero, which is player one spot. So um, it has to be minus one there. And let's just copy paste this. And if they press button one, which means the flesh team, um, we're going to create one flesh builder, which for some reason the flesh builder's icon is still uh, still a probe. So you'd have to go under, uh, go back into units, find your flesh builder, go to his actor, go down to his unit icon, and then change this to a drone. There we go. That's a bit better now. So now let's save. Um, so let's create a flesh builder for whatever. This is good. And then new action outside of the if statement. We want to pan the camera. Pan the camera for player. Um, we want to do it for the triggering player. The player who clicked the dialog. To center of, oops, we don't want center of. Click the bracket. We want to go to unit position of last created unit which is scroll up right there so now it'll move to that unit two seconds is fine and then uh, well let's make it one second so they don't waste time and then let's UI go to UI uh, where's text message there's text message display the message um, begin building Okay, to, to convert player to player group, and the player is going to be the triggering player. And then, one subtle thing here we need to do actually, um, I believe we need to do this, it worked when I did this, hide the race choose dialog for player group, convert player to player, and the triggering player. There we go. So this should work. Um, you never know, though, what happens. And now let's do our spawn waves. So new trigger spawn waves. And the event, which will convenient, which is a convenient thing, is it'll just be when a timer expires. And it's whenever our wave timer expires. So when our wave timer expires, let's... Um, I should just press Control w Anyways, let's play a sound. And the sound we're going to play is UI underscore Terran warning. Okay. Copy paste. And now let's change this. It's going to, we're going to hide the timer now. So timer, hide timer window. Hide our wave timer window for all players. Good. And now we're going to create the units. So copy paste. And let's go to units create units facing angle. So this is where our variables we set in here are going to come in handy. It's going to make this very simple. Um, we're just going to create, instead of one, we're going to create wave spawn amount for the current wave number. Um, and the unit we're going to spawn is wave unit types for the, and I hope this makes sense to people. So wave spawn amount, and let's say this is the very first wave, so zero. So we're going to find wave spawn amount 0. It's going to find 20. And so it's going to create 20 of wave unit type 0, which is a small beast. 
four player three our bad player at point center of region center of spawn region good okay and then we want to order these units so copy paste and it's under unit and then it's issue order to unit group issue order in unit last created units and we want to order these to click the bracket to order targeting point and we want to move make sure you click that one and move targeting region center of region center of end region perfect save it okay so now they've got that order and now we want to do some interesting stuff that i think a lot some interesting message stuff that a lot of people will appreciate i think makes your map a little bit more professional so we want to display and we're going to do a lot of string combining and combine another string and maybe i think we'll need one more I kind of forget i'm just looking at my notes it's kind of messy um, so let me just type something and apply this color and then take the take the first half take out the slash c leave the first thing there press ok so this first thing will color all of these texts and then we'll have to put a closer on the end so i uh, hope that makes sense so the first thing we're going to do is wave space ok wave and now we're going to do function conversion convert integer and we're going to do an arithmetic which is going to be our wave number plus one oops variable current wave plus one so if we're on wave zero it's going to say wave one so it's proper uh, for the player because our waves start at zero which is wouldn't make sense to the player if they were playing a wave zero um, plus and then we're going to actually have to do some more string combining and we'll have to do one more I believe a lot of string combining so color it wave whatever space oh no no space colon space okay so wave and now we want to do um, variable conversion unit name of unit type wave so it'd be like wave one and the name of and then click this bracket here and we want to go to our wave unit types wave unit types current wave don't need plus one here because our current our wave unit types doesn't need that um, and then the last thing we want is our bracket slash c so it'll close the color so the color will be set for all this so it'll be a nice uh, pinkish hue all players to the subtitle that's good and then copy paste and just make variable modify variable integer we modify the current wave to be plus one and uh, the other thing we want to do oops the other thing we want to do is another UI message except this message is going to be to the um, I don't know let's try the directive area and it's just going to be a much smaller combination of text this time and it's just going to be wave space and it's just going to tell us our current wave there we go so uh, it's going to create the wave so say this is the first wave it'll be current wave will be zero it's going to create wave spawn amount zero and of type wave unit type zero so it'll create 20 whatever or 30 uh, small beasts for player three of the region order them to move then it's going to say wave zero plus one so wave one name of the unit type wave one small beast um, whatever that's good closes the color and it's going to make it plus one and it's going to say in the directive area it's going to say wave one uh, permanently for this wave so they'll know what wave they're on and save and that's all we need to do in spawn wave